Hi, it's Maxine Kay with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living, and I'm really happy to be connecting with you again. I did have yoga on my lap a little while ago, but she changed her mind, and you know, we have to honor that she has sovereignty like everyone else. So here we are. It's been a beautiful day, and uh, even though we may feel still confined and a little bit confused, wondering what we are supposed to do, what makes sense to do, as things are beginning to open up again. And so how do we know what to do in addition to following the guidelines from, from the Center for Disease Control and from the local governments, uh, is we can follow our intuition. We can listen deeply inside. Like, is this the time for me to do this? Is it appropriate to do that? And how do I take proper precautions as I go ahead to do those things? So we're fine, we're going to be just fine. We need to be wise and we need not to be afraid, but just wise. And it's important that we, um, that we live pretty much in, in the land of serenity rather than the land of upset and that we realize we really have an opportunity to live and dwell and have our being in an, in an isle of tranquility in the midst of a sea of, of unrest and upset and not knowing. And we can do that, we've been doing that. I had the great pleasure of being on a webinar with, from Centuries for Spiritual Living today, and one of the wonderful experiences that I had was viewing a paddle, a panel <laughs> of spiritual leaders from so many denominations. Edward Vuillon, our spiritual leader for Centers for Spiritual Living, uh, was a participant and a moderator. And he had a Catholic priest, a Jewish rabbi, a Lutheran minister, a unity minister, an Episcopal minister, and, uh, and a Buddhist. And uh, Reverend was his title. And it was, it was really wonderful. It was very sweet and very rich to hear how each of these people were dealing, not only for themselves, but with their spiritual communities, with the social distancing, not being able to meet together for such a long time. And so what I found was so much in common and, and one thing was a sadness, a sorrowing, that they couldn't be physically with the people who were in their spiritual communities. And even though they were finding very creative ways, as we have done, to connect and to live stream and to Zoom and find other ways to make connections, they were still really missing that. Well, we're all missing that, aren't we? And when Reverend Mike and I go down to live stream every Sunday morning, uh, we're the only ones in the building besides our production team. And it's lovely to see them. We are completely socially distanced, of course. And you can do that in a sanctuary when there are just four people. And it's wonderful. We love it. And we love reaching out and not knowing exactly who we're going to be connecting with but it feels good to find ways so the people on this webinar that I was watching not only are missing everybody, but they are finding very creative ways to, to send the message out. And they realize, as we are realizing, that this is not a one-time thing in terms of finding ways on the internet to be with each other. And we'll be continuing that no matter when we are all back together, we will still be continuing this. And so that's an exciting thing. We had to learn to do Zoom classes and gatherings, and we wanted to do that anyway, didn't we? We just didn't realize there would be such <laughs> necessity to do it so quickly. And we're so adaptable, aren't we? You know, the human race continues to thrive because of its adaptability. It's always the case that those who are willing to be flexible and to go with the flow a bit instead of resisting and fighting things and allow ourselves to think of new ideas and to work together with other people to, to discover those possibilities, 
that's that's a that's very rich living. It truly is. And and every person on this panel who was sharing, I saw was solidly, solidly in their faith and solidly in their awareness that something new and better is coming from all of these experiences, both the COVID-19 and, uh, and the racial distress. I wouldn't call it unrest so much as distress. And it's time for us to be opening hearts and minds and moving forward together with arms linked metaphorically as well as physically whenever that is appropriate and possible and i was just reading about a program that's designed for young children about opening their hearts and minds to uh, people of all colors and so forth and they call it e-racism don't you love that e-racism and i think the adults can benefit from that as well so this is a whole new time in our lives it's a whole new experience globally. We've never been in this place before. So many things have brought us to this point right now that we are ready, we are willing, let's all be willing, not just some of us, but let's all be willing and capable of bringing heaven to earth in a brand new way. We definitely are possibilitarians. All of us need to be possibilitarians, looking at what we can do, looking at what we are called to do. I'm thrilled and excited about our possibilities. And that is because God is our source and infinite wisdom is guiding us and the divine embrace is enfolding us. We can't go wrong. We are gathered up in love. We are motivated by wisdom. And so all we need to do is say yes to this new implosion of love that underlies everything and is the motivating force behind all that we are doing. So I'm grateful. I want you to join me in that thankfulness for what is ours to have, what is ours to do, and who we are to be as conscious living spiritual beings as we are awaking humanity to its spiritual magnificence as we are co-creating together and with infinite mind a world that truly truly works for all so tomorrow you'll have the pleasure of hearing reverend mike on your love note sunday morning please join with us for our live streaming in our live streaming from Suite 16, 16 Industrial Boulevard, where only Reverend Mike and our production crew and I gather in order to send our message to you and knowing that the time is coming when we will be together and we are not rushing it. We're using the wisdom that we were born with. We are being judicious. We are discerning. We are being smart and we are being loving, and we are gonna to continue to find all kinds of beautiful ways to be together. So just tune in, cslphilly.org is our website, 10.30 on Sunday morning, and there'll be some introductory music, and you'll know that we're about to have a wonderful Sunday morning celebration. At the end of that celebration, whether you've tuned in using the link for YouTube, or for Facebook, you'll be given the information, an invitation, don't you like invitations? You'll be given an invitation to join us on Zoom as soon as our celebration is over. And guess what? Then we get to see you as well as you seeing us. And I don't care if you're in your pajamas, I hope you are, at least. <laughs> and we'll have a conversation. We might wanna talk about what I've been sharing that morning might want to get your input on it. I'd love that. We might want to hear what's going on with you, what's your heart and what your mind wants us to know. So please, please tune in and be with us. You're very important to us. And also, well, you can make a contribution. There's a, several opportunities that you'll see where you can make sure that we continue to grow and to thrive 
and to be present for you when the time comes that we can all be together again. So thank you for being with us. And Yoga says, bless you all, everyone. We love you. You're important. God bless us.